They said I'd have to bite one of our teachers right during class. They chose him. The most harmful, evil, and disgusting dude. Boys and girls, buckle up and prepare yourselves to witness what is the worst animation channel on this entire website. Now we've looked at quite a few animation channels before and, well, they've all been pretty bad, but not a single one is even going to come close to what we're watching today. Teen Stories, a war crime of a YouTube channel. Now this channel is not the greatest for many reasons, one of the most obvious flaws being this Genuinely horrifying animation style. I mean, I probably should have given you guys like a jump scare warning going into this because my god, what is that? It also doesn't help that I'm quite certain that the script for these videos is written in a different language and then Google translated into English because while you can pretty much always generally understand what they're trying to say, it is not said in a way that anybody would actually choose to say it. You'll see what I mean. Mean. But let's not waste any more time. Let's journey into the story of I Bit the Teacher on a Bet. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Hello, everyone. My name's Rika. This is my funny story. Rika, I, I mean this in the nicest way you can mean something like this. You are the freakiest looking thing I think I've ever seen in my entire life. I mean, what is wrong with you? You look like Gollum. It ended up with me getting a boyfriend. And the college has got a cool and very smart teacher. Like all typical first-year students who tasted freedom, I quickly got together with my friends. We started to hang out together. We danced in clubs. Sometimes we had parties. We played board games and went to karaoke clubs. And when they stopped letting us in... <laughs> okay. Okay, maybe it's just because it's 4.30 in the morning, but it is just hilarious to me how everybody in this animation looks like they are just beyond tweaking. I mean, what is happening in this karaoke club that is giving them all this expression? And it goes on for the entire video too, it just looks like they're gone. We started our own karaoke right in the student dorm. Well, of course, we also made bets. To make it more interesting, for every loss in the games, we'd have a punishment. There was enough creativity for 12 of us, so the tasks were very different, though not always humane. Okay, so are you starting to see what I mean about how you can easily understand the point they're trying to get across, but it's very obviously been translated like this was not originally written in English? I'm unlucky enough. I can even lose a game with clear rules and a sequence of actions that any normal person can go through in five minutes. Ah uh, yes, a completely normal sequence of actions that any normal person can easily go through within five minutes. What a simple and non-overcomplicated way to say easy to follow rules. But once, I took a chance. We did a dance battle then, and I have a black belt in ballet. I'm kidding of course. But I really practiced ballet a lot when I was a kid. So, as they say, I'm a heaven-born dance bet participant. What? No, there's no way anybody ever said that. A heaven-sent dance battle bet participant? I'm pretty sure you and I are the only two people who have ever said that string of words. It turned out that my classical dance skills weren't enough to win a dance battle between amateurs. And yeah, I lost. Then something happened. It shocked everyone. The boys came up with a task for me. And guess what? They said I'd have to bite one of our teachers right during class. At any cost. By any means. Though at risk for my teeth and studies. They also chose the teacher. Bastards. They chose him. The most harmful, evil, and disgusting dude. <laughs> Oh, I think I actually love this channel more than I dislike it. The juxtaposition of saying that this is the most evil, most harmful, worst person to ever exist, and then show this guy, this channel is amazing. He was a history and literature teacher. It was a complete failure, because it was possible to agree on something with other teachers, but this one would never agree to anything. But a bet's a bet, and I needed to do it. So, right during a lecture on another nerdy thing about the classics, I got up. I got closer to him and grabbed his sleeve with my teeth. It was very, very crazy. Legs, hands, head, 
I had everything shaking from shock. What kind of sick friends do you have that this is the dare that they give you? You're in college, you're an adult, this is just straight up assault. You could probably spend a few nights in jail over this. And from understanding of what I'd done, and the teacher shook me carelessly from his jacket, he went on speaking as if nothing had happened. I even thought for a second he also had a sense of humor. So I got back to my seat, but right after the lecture, I was asked to stay. Yeah, he asked me in a very polite but demanding manner. And then, for about 15 minutes, he was speaking about why one shouldn't interrupt someone else's performance with their primitive instincts. What? One should not interrupt another's performance with their primitive instincts? You see, when you say that, I don't think of a student biting a teacher's coat. I think of somebody defecating on the stage of a play. Maybe not the best way to describe this bit. I felt ashamed. I also felt very funny, because it seemed this nerd saw in my behavior some kind of flirting, and it all ended unexpectedly. He asked me on a date to any cafe I chose. We were going to talk about my morality. I'm not kidding, that's what he said. Well, I had no choice, I had to agree. I chose the closest cafe to the campus. Not to go so far away, I thought he'd refuse. But, you know, the man spoiling our friend's life for the last six months turned out to be very smart. Well, I hope that wouldn't come as a complete shocker to you, as he is a professor employed at the university you're going to. I know that not every teacher is the sharpest tool in the shed, but maybe don't take their class if you think they're stupid. That would be my advice. Especially in a simple conversation. And he was quite a young guy, not some prehistoric jocko. He was only about 27, and he behaved like this just because he was afraid students wouldn't respect him because of his age. I could be completely wrong about this. I'm pretty sure I'm not, though, but, uh... I'm pretty sure there's only a handful of people who have become a professor at around this age, like maybe a dozen or so. Becoming a professor by age 27 would mean you are like some sort of mega genius. You would have to skip a lot of your early schooling to achieve this. Anyway, somehow one date turned into another, then a third, and then Vincent came to visit us in the dorm. He held me by the knee and played King of Heroes, a board game with us. Yeah, we started to date, and then lived together. And every minute with him, I was terribly ashamed. How I thought he wasn't the most pleasant person, because he's simply amazing. You thought he wasn't the most pleasant person because he was simply amazing? This is the first time they fully lost me. But over time, I discovered more and more details. So when I told him that my sudden bite was not because of passion, but just because of a bet, he said he knew that, and even more, he had asked my friends to give me such a task. The thing is, he liked me at once, and Vincent's younger brother studied in our group. And Vincent seemed to think biting a teacher was a good chance to start a relationship. Yeah, uh, if you don't want your boyfriend to lose his job and then probably be barred from teaching anywhere ever again, might want to keep that to yourself. After this... My teacher slept on the couch for a week, because it was just terrible. Even now, when I remember it, I'm horrified. But then, I decided revenge would be pleasant for the one who does it, and I wouldn't torture us both. So, I invited him to our games. Of course, not right away. But he lost, and here I was merciless. I wanted to take revenge anyway. So, his task was to give all the lectures in a unicorn outfit. What a lame punishment. We've seen the inside of the lecture hall and it looks like the only people in the class are the people in the friend group. It would only be funny to people who don't know what it's about. What a blow to the nerd's reputation. <laughs> and as any game's duty is sacred, he'd have to flaunt for four classes in his pajamas and with a big golden horn on his head. <laughs> Since that day, Vincent has become everyone's favorite teacher of all time. Even for the students he didn't teach. So you don't need to be strict to maintain discipline and make students visit your lectures. Sometimes you can just open your heart. So one lost bet changed the most strict teacher. And I got a smart boyfriend. Or rather, 
a fiance. I'm really confused on if the channel owner thinks that adults, especially adults with careers like being a college professor, are watching these videos. Like, really? The lesson of this video is to not be a strict teacher? Who that watched this video is going to benefit from that message? Well, I'm glad that's over. I think it's time for me to go have nightmares about this channel's animation style. This channel makes true stories look like a masterpiece. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button. And touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.